Yo, what's going on, guys? The Kitty G on EGTV, and we're back again with another video. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is my last day in Toronto, Canada, so I'm going to be doing these videos a little bit more regularly when I get back to Toronto, so shout out to you guys. But today, Pedro Neto to Arsenal has been confirmed that the talks between Arsenal and Wolves has been ongoing, and David Onsin has dropped a bomb on us today. So let's get this show started. Let's hit that smash, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get straight into the news. As you guys already know, we woke up this morning with some massive, 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 massive update from David Onstein and, and The Athletic. So we're going to show you guys that update. We're going to show you all the latest from David Onstein and everything going around Wolves and the whole situation with Pedro Neto. And of course, it has now been confirmed. Our potentially... Arsenal's mystery winger is uh, actually why am I saying potentially Arsenal's mystery winger is Pedro Neto who's saying no to Pedro Neto let me know in the comment section shout out to you guys big up Femi in the house yes um as a backup I would say yes Woo! we're already talking about him as a backup I see how it is so sorry guys if if, if I if, if you see me sniffing or, or or sniffling during during the stream but let's get straight into it let's get straight into it people Let's get straight into it. Um, Arsenal's transfer priority is uh, Pedro Neto. Discussions over the past few months between Arsenal and jo uh, jo uh, Jorne Mendes, Mendes to, uh, to Wolves. They don't plan on selling the 22-year-old, apparently. That is what, uh, what he reported about two hours ago. But Arsenal can spend an excess, so the deal is not easy. But interests are concrete and... Uh, so that is that is what David Onstein was reporting on that. Now with the uh, with David Onstein working with the Athletic, they had some they had some interesting quotes to to put out there. So they were putting out there that Arsenal are in talks over a deal for Pedro Neto. The winger is a is a top target if Pe if Pepe leaves, which Pepe does look like he's very close to leaving Arsenal to go to. Nice. He, uh, Pepe does seem like he is on his way to France, which is a big, big, big uh, step uh, step uh, forward for us to get a, a new winger in. Uh, of course, Pepe will need to leave uh, to Nice, so that loan cannot fall apart. If that loan does fall apart, it would be it would be a it would be a problem. So this is a massive, massive thing. Contro uh, once again, conversations between. Uh, uh, Jorge Mendes uh, has been going on for a few months, but they keep saying wolves are not interested in selling. Wolves are not interested in selling. Now, I've I've seen contrary reports. I've seen contrary reports coming out about wolves potentially not selling. I've seen reports coming out, and I've seen it on uh, earlier today that reports were saying that wolves would reportedly be willing to sell the Portuguese star at the right price. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't know what's going on with me, but uh, but I I think I might have got a cold. I don't know how uh, how I'm gonna fly back with no troubles. But yeah, so reports are coming out that in this article it's saying that they they might not be willing to sell, but in other articles I seen that for the right price wolves would be willing to sell. Let me let me just pull that up for you guys. Let me know how you guys are feeling in the comment section. Would you like Pedro Neto at Arsenal? This would be probably the excess of fifty million. Um, excess of 50 million probably so that is that is what i'm thinking that it would be in and around so let me just show you guys on the 18th of august if i'm not mistaken on the 18th of august um a couple of days ago i seen this uh clubs in the premier league including arsenal have been made aware that wolves pedro neto could be available for the right price in this transfer window according to reports now uh, could this mean Pedro Neto to Arsenal? This completely contradicts what we heard from David Onstein earlier, a couple minutes ago. Um, let's just see what some of you guys have to say in the comment section about this potential transfer in the comment section. Um, Femi is saying no. Um, who says no? You're saying no, Femi? Why? Um, people saying yes. Um, as a backup, I would say yes. Yes, not sure. Why, why aren't you sure? Explain to me why aren't you sure that this deal will happen. Um, sign him. He would be expensive. Maximum $40 million for Neto if we buy him. Why maximum $40 million? I think we might be having to look at a little bit more than $40 million, my friend. He might cost us a lot more than $40 million. I think Pedro Neto is definitely going to cost us a little bit more than $40 million. And at this moment in time, we're going to just have to wait and see what happens there and how that works out. 
right? Um, next, um, how long will you uh, be in Canada? I am actually leaving today. So today is my last day. Ori, oh, Ori bomb, get Neto. Uh, Sohan is absolutely beside himself. Good Monday morning. Ori exclusive hits different. Definitely, definitely done. Uh, the deal is not done. The deal is not done. We have just got confirmation that the, that the deal is on. That Pedro Neto to Arsenal, we've gotten it confirmed that he's a top target and that he potentially could be arriving very, very soon in, in our, uh, at Arsenal. This is, this is the report that we have received. And yes, he is Arsenal's top target. David Onstein has reported that he's Arsenal's top target. Um, there is no, there is no, there is a growing feeling that Arsenal are the favorites to sign him, of course, off the, off the back of this. And there you go. So David Ronstein reporting that Pedro Neto to Arsenal. This is fantastic news. Now we're just waiting for Fabrizio Romano to to, glorif- uh, to to just do his thing and tap it in as he usually does. Uh, big up, big up, uh, uh, big up David Ronstein for, for being first to, to this news. Pedro Neto has been a priority and interest. Uh, the deal is not easy to get done, though. Obviously, it's not going to be an easy deal to get done. It's going to take a while. Just one second. People, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this potential deal. Now, obviously, this was originally reported by David Onstein. David Onstein uh, is uh, is uh, the, uh, the Athletics' chief reporter. And when he says something, he always does his due diligence. So why would he mention this if it wasn't very advanced? Uh, one second. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, I hope we don't get breach. We don't breach the the FFP rules because he is going to cost more. You know, I think financially, uh, we're we are we are way within our our reach when it comes to financial fair play, and especially this summer when there's no the restrictions have been loosened up a little bit over COVID and everything, and it's still quite loose. Now, people are saying Neto and Tillemans. I will save the Tillemans conversation to when we get about 20 minutes into the video. We're only, we're only seven minutes into the video. We're still talking about Pedro Neto, guys. Now, there is a lot to talk about Pedro Neto. Now, I am not going to lie to you guys. I am very, very excited when I hear these when I hear these Pedro Neto rumors. I'm very excited because it was just a couple of years ago that Pedro Neto was being compared to Bakayo Saka, um, Phil Foden and, and and these guys. He was being put in the same bracket as these guys. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I genuinely think Pedro Neto is is a very exciting winger. I think Bakayo Saka is better. And I, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say he's better than Martinelli and these guys yet. I need to see more from him. But of course, he has shown more in the Premier League so far that, uh, in this in the sense that he he has he's been performing very well and he definitely would improve our team he would add some squad depth to our team and he could potentially push for that starting job i think he could play on both wings he would be absolutely integral to uh, to our build up and he is a very young up and coming player let's not act like pedro neto is a scrub this guy is this guy's no unknown commodity like a Yeri Pino. This is not a guy who formerly flopped at another club and is coming in. This is Wolves, one of Wolves' best players. How are you doing? Morris K, I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Do me a favor, guys. Hit that like button right now. We, we have about 50 of you guys in the video, and we only have 17 likes. You guys can do much better than that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a poll going. Um, I'm going to get a poll going about who you guys think we should be getting um, in, in, the, uh, in the other positions because there is a lot of there's a there's a there's a rumors going around about midfielders if 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 you think we're going to get a midfielder let me know cuz i am very cautious i am very cautious the like eh, i don't know if we can i don't know if we can pull off a midfielder and a winger i think i think it's going to be difficult i think it's going to be extremely difficult to get to get uh to get a uh, thing uh, Yuri Telemans or any any midfielder. So, do you think Arsenal will land a midfielder this window? Yes or no? Let me know because it looks like we are going to get a winger. But do you think? Do you think Arsenal will land midfielder this window? And it is confirmed. He is the he. 
do you think Arsenal will land a midfielder this uh, this window? That is the the question in the poll. Um, I hope we can get Jota, uh, our own Jota, uh, for uh, of Liverpool. You know what, Pedro Neto, <laughs> he is he is highly touted, so he could absolutely bang. As a Celtic fan, uh, fam, who who is diehard Gunnar, uh, see us even. Kieran Tierney comes back in paradise. Those watch you on the terrace. Big up. Fuck the haters. Big up to you, Mike. Big up to you, Mike. Really do. Uh, this guy is not the answer. I hope I hope not. Why is he not the answer? One second. Pedro Neto to Arsenal. Let's see. So as you guys can see, Arsenal make Pedro Neto their, their, their transfer tar- top target. You got the Sun coming in. Arsenal want Wolves' is Neto. Pedro Neto is a priority to Arsenal. Pedro Neto. Let's let's just look at Pedro Neto quickly. What is the issue that people have concerns over? Is it his stats? Is it what is it specifically that you have issues over Pedro Neto's? In, uh, what is it that Pedro Neto has that you guys are concerned about? Let me see. Let's go. Let's go to Pedro Neto. So he's under contract until 2027. That is going to be a big issue. Him being under contract until 2027 means that. Uh, Wolves are in strong negotiation power for uh, for any deal that we get done. Any deal that we get done, Wolves have majority of the negotiation power. We're going to have to work very, very diligently and hard to get that valuation lowered. Would you rather Arsenal finish in the top four with uh, without a UCL win or finish fifth and win the EPL? Uh, uh, I would rather win the Europa League. I'm not going to lie to you. I really like the player. I'm always watching from Sierra Leone. Big up to you, Morris K. Big up to you, Morris K. Um, Neto has been, uh, has, uh, was better than Jota in Wolves. We'll have to see. Jota also went into a Liverpool team that was absolutely stacked. Pedro Neto is a baller. Egal, we need someone who can who would challenge Saka, who's an elite. He is average at best. Um, I don't believe he's average at best. I think I think you're 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 very much selling him very short. Now let's just let's just look at um uh he can play on the left, he can play on the right, and he can play as a second striker. Um he is left footed so he would fit perfectly on either wing uh depending on what you want him to do. Um he came to he only came to Wolves for 16 million. We were actually linked to him when he was when he was very young if you guys remember um, we were linked him when he was very, very young, a long time ago, a really long time ago. Let's see all his stats. Let's see what his stats look like. Um, he statistically, he's not the best when it comes to goals and assists. He doesn't really get involved too much uh, in that. Let's see if the underlining numbers been, uh, favor him. Let's see if the underlining numbers favor him quickly. Um, let's see if the underlining numbers favor him. Neto. Pedro Neto, where is he? There's Pedro Neto. <coughs> Saka. <coughs> it's going to be difficult comparing him to Saka. So we're also comparing him to, to Martinelli. Or Gabriel Martinelli, where is he? We'll compare him to Gabriel Martinelli also. What do you guys think? What's What statistics should we compare? Um, I'm saying cre- creation, right? Gabriel, Mar, Pinelli. Here we go. Okay, and should I compare Smith Row? Smith Row. Okay, so here we go. So we're looking at. Um, we're gonna look at their per ninety stats. We're gonna look at their per ninety stats, and we're gonna cre- uh, we're gonna just let's just. Let's just get some of these things out of the way. So general, uh, games played, minutes played, starts. Then I'm going to go to attacking options. I'm going to check goals, non-penalty goals. Right. I'm going to check, um, sh- you know, shot accuracy and that stuff doesn't matter to me. I'm going to check assists, chance creations. Um, I'm going to check pass completion. Pass accuracy, I'll check that. Uh, defensively, no, don't need too many things there. Um, where, what else should we check? Um, let's check. 
Discipline, no. Defensively, no. Martinelli and these guys, their work rate is amazing. So take on success percentage. Aerial dual success. No, I don't think he's that good in the air. Well, let's find out. Let's find out. Um, and then what else are we doing? Passing. What else we need to find? Let's see if he's taking corners. And that's it. Okay. So quickly, this is uh, this season or let's do last season. Let's do last. Oh, he was injured last season. What was his best year? What was his best year? His best year, Pedro Neto's best year. What was Neto's best year? Um, Neto. Let me do his best year versus everyone's best year. So his best year was um, 2021. I'm going to judge him. 2021 was his best season in the Premier League. 2021 in the Premier League. 2021 in the Premier League. Bakaya Saka's last year was his best year. Martinelli last year was his best year. Uh, where's last year? Last year was his best year. Last year was his best year. Emma Smith Rowe last year was his best year. They all outproduced him when it comes to goals last season. So as you can see there, they um, his best season, he played 30 games. Um, he had less. Let me check totals. He had less goals than, than, all, than all of them. In that game, he had less non-penalty goals in them, all those games. He creates a lot more than um, Emma Smith Rowe and and uh, and uh, Mart uh, Gabriel Martinelli, as you can see in, in, in that in that stat. There, he is a lot more technically when it comes when it comes to his passing accuracy. He's, he's he 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 also takes a lot of corners. He takes almost all. He took all of Wolves, a lot of Wolves' corners that year. He took eighty corners. Um, take on success rate, okay. Aerial duels. You know what? He wins a lot of his aerial duels. Surprisingly, for a short guy, for a short guy, he wins a lot of his aerial duels. Let's check per ninety stats. Um, as you can see here, his assists, chance creation, pass accuracy, corners taken. And he played. He played majority. He played a lot more minutes than them. I, I think. But yeah, let's. So, from from these stats, what I can take away is that he's going to be more or less fighting Martinelli or Emma Smith Rowe for their spot. But Kyle Saka's spot is pretty safe, right? I'm just thinking he hasn't gotten involved in the goals as much, but Wolves as a team has struggled to score goals, so you can't really compare him there. I'm more or less looking at the chance creations. Let's see how many total chance created he created that season. He almost he created almost more than both of them combined. That offers us a lot. Offers us a lot, people. That offers us a lot more than what we currently have from Emma Smith Rondem. Let's just check. Um, I know Pedro Neto's RB ref stats are going to be very much skewed because he hasn't played a lot of games. RB, RB. Ref. Let's check Pedro Neto sofa score. Let's see where he played. Where he played his best football. What I'm looking at right now is the heat map. So as you can see, the first uh, couple games, his best season, he played predominantly. Wow, he played on both wings. This is a guy who's who could be utilized on both wings. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Pedro Neto could be very much utilized on both wings. This was his best season. He played um, – He this was the 2020, uh, 2021 season. Pedro Neto was, in, uh, was really good for that Wolves side who, who finished in Europe, I'm thinking, in that, that season. And he played – you can see by his heat map, he was heavily dominant on both wings. He was, he was not – he was versatile. He was able to play on both wings quite often. He was getting forward. Honestly, I think – Pedro Neto would fit in perfectly, and he could he could slot in on the left, he could slot in on the right, he could play with Bukayo Saka, he could play without Bukayo Saka. He he it, it, he would offer us so much going forward. Just look at that heat map. I think this is a this is a great signing, especially uh, especially with his age. 
like let's not forget his age his age is a big factor one second neto saka foden they were literally doing this just a couple years ago if you remember if you remember a couple years ago they were literally they were they were promoting all three of these guys uh together all together they were saying oh pedro neto foden they could they could be the ones for the future this is that I remember the I remember the segment on Sky Sports where they were showing all three of their stats next to each other, and just look at this. This was this was this was just two years ago. This was just two years ago where Pedro Neto and Foden and these guys were all being compared to each other. Let me show you this quickly, people in the chat. I'm gonna get back to you guys in a second. Just uh, bear with me, and I'm gonna get to the Tillemans news also in a second. But yeah, if you remember, this was just a couple of years ago where they were comparing the three players, games played, goals at the time. Sorry. Uh, I'm not feeling so well. Go, uh, goals, assists, um, uh, minutes per goal involvement. So as you can see, Foden obviously had the least minutes, Mukasak had the most. Uh, and then... The shot shot conversion, expected goals, chance creation. At the time, he was creating more than Bakao Saka. He was getting he was getting less touches in the box than Bakao Saka and Foden. So there's still a lot of room for growth. Um, his assist and goal uh, ratio for the team, he had almost 36% of the goals and assists in his team at that time. And ball carries, he carried the ball forward a lot more than Bakao Saka and Phil Foden. This is a guy who is, is literally around their age. Are you forgetting how young Neto is? Are you forgetting how young Neto is? Neto is still very, very young. Neto is extremely young, people. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Uh, you got Rona? No, I definitely don't got Rona, or else I won't be able to travel back to the UK. Uh, why don't you have a, a, any sponsors? You know what? We, we're, we're working on that. We're working on that. We're working on that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be getting you guys a kit sponsor very very soon. Big up Night Rider, man. You're one of the you're one of the members to the chat. Uh, you, you're one of the members back uh, a couple weeks. Uh, I think you were a member last month. Really do appreciate all the members, man. Like uh, Terry and the rest. Uh, uh, people, let uh, let's then ten thousand have a subscriber. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Definitely. I don't know what happened. Uh, I I. I Maybe I just don't check my emails enough, but I definitely need to get um, a sponsor shorted out. But yeah, uh, why why do we only go for short players? We need tall forwards. You know what? We we've had tall forwards, we've had short forwards, but maybe it's just it, wingers. You don't need to worry. Alexis Sanchez was not that tall. He was really good. Um, we have a lot of height in our defense and in, uh, and in our midfield with with Pate and Shaka. So uh, it's not it's not a worry for me at this moment in time. I would be more worried if we had short center backs. Iga, uh, he can play in Wolves. He cannot score goals. For fuck's sake, his numbers will boost in Arsenal. Yes, definitely. 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 But you know what? This is something people are forgetting. This was literally this was literally a Sky Sports segment just a couple uh just a couple years ago. This was literally just a couple years ago. Like it's not like the player has fallen off the, uh, the face of the earth. I don't get why people are looking at Pedro Neto and saying to themselves, oh, it's kind of underwhelming. This is an exciting signing. He's at, at that time, he was considered the third best youngster in the league. At that time, he was considered one of the best youngsters in the league. This was 2020, 2021 season when, they, when Wolves got into thing. Now, people are talking about Pino. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. The Pino stuff has, has kind of slowed down. Pino to, uh, Pino to Arsenal has kind of slowed down. I don't think we're going to be seeing too much of that as much. With Pedro Neto heating up, the Pino to Arsenal rumors are going to be slowing down quite a bit. You're going to see less and less of Pino and more and more of other people in the mix. Let me see Pino's goal yesterday. Woo! A nice little tidy goal yesterday uh, Pino had about 11 hours ago for Una Emery's Villarreal. Uh, Cross the body. Okay, okay. This is a good little position. We find Bukayo Saka in these positions all the time. Look, let me just show you guys where Pino scored from. This is where Pino scored from yesterday. From that angle, he, he put it away. I'm not going to lie. It's a really good, it's a, uh, uh, really good tight little angle where he scored there. Uh, you know what? I, I like it. I like Pino, but I think Pino is not going to happen. 
Big up, big up the channel, bro. Keep it up, Aki. Really do appreciate it, people. We got about 60 people in the chat right now. Do me a favor, hit that like button. If you've missed what we've been talking about, you want me to get back to it, I'll get back to it in a second. If you haven't already heard, David Onstein has reported Arsenal are extremely serious and, and, and are looking at Pedro Neto as their priority signing this window. Um, just to go through some stuff, Bakao Saka has appeared in the last 45 matches. Uh, he's been uh, been used on sub. Uh, what he's un being unsubbed against uh, Newcastle in May. Wow. Um, what are we rating this window? If we sign Pedro Neto and Telemans, what do we rate this window out of ten? Let me know in the comment section right now. Yeah, what do you guys rate this window out of ten? If we can get both of them through the door, uh, I, I I rate it out of ten. Ten out of ten. Oh, William Saliba, what a baller, guys. What a baller William Saliba is. William Saliba is absolutely fantastic. He's absolutely fantastic. He's flying. Let me know. If Arsenal sign uh thing, what are we what are we getting, people? Let's see. People are saying nine. Yo, you guys are harsh, man. You guys are harsh. I would say ten. I would, some people saying eleven. Some people saying eight. What? Wow, you guys are harsh. Do 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 Saliba. <laughs> Yo, big up, big up Saliba, man. Big up Saliba. Um Let's just let's just get through some of these uh, things. Oh, by the way, if you don't know, Pedro Neto is an Arsenal fan. Yes, Pedro Neto is an Arsenal fan. Arsenal. Yeah. I feel for me. One second. Can you hear? Can you hear? It? Let me just let me just uh, get the audio up here. Is it Liverpool or Man United? No, 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 Arsenal. Yeah, because with Arsenal Wenger, I thought they would they played. Beside they don't win trophies, they play the very good football. But now, of course, it's Bova and some wonders. Yeah, of course. No. Whoa, guys, did you hear that? Arsen Banger did it again. Arsen Banger did it again. Guys, the, the invincible juice will never die. The invincible juice will never die. Man, man said he used to be uh, man said he used to be an Arsenal fan. Shout out to him, man. Shout out to him. Saliba over Koulibaly. Yo, Saliba got a goal. Saliba got, kept two clean sheets, and he didn't get sent off uh, uh, like, like Koulibaly did versus Leeds. I'm not saying Koulibaly is not a great center back. He is. But uh, but in the first couple of games, Saliba has looked solid, man. Saliba has looked really solid. I'm really happy about him. Saliba is better than Van Dijk. Guys, <laughs> Van Dijk is the creme de la creme. Saliba needs to reach the top. Hopefully, he can. Hopefully he can. I really do love Saliba. I think Saliba is absolutely fantastic. I think he will be better than uh, than, than a lot of these guys in the coming years once they take a little bit of a dip in their form. But first, right now, let's just focus on the good times, man. I absolutely love Saliba. I think he's amazing. I think Saliba could be our best player in a, in a year's time. Um, so top clubs are after Pedro Neto. We already know about that. Um, it is unlikely Arsenal will be able to spend an extortionate amount of um, uh, what? 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 What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? What? It is unlikely Arsenal will be able to spend extortionately and are conscious of FFP. It is unclear what level of finance it might take for Wolves to contemplate letting Neto depart. Discussions are ongoing as Arsenal explore whether a deal could be achievable. Huh. Interesting. I didn't see that coming. Did you guys already read this? That's why you knew about the FFP, because somebody mentioned it earlier in the video. Honestly, I didn't think FFP was going to be a factor this uh, this season because I thought every, FFP got relaxed for everybody else. I, I really did think FFP got relaxed for everybody else. Um, Edu is working with Mendes for the Fabio Vieira deal. Now for Pedro Neto. Yep, that is true. That is true. Um, let's see what this says here. Let's see what this says here. Central to the dialogue between Arsenal and Wolves for Pedro Neto is the intermediary Jorge Mendes, who represents Neto and closely linked to operations at Molyneux. Conversations so far have involved Mendes liaising with Arsenal and Wolves separately. Interesting. Interesting. So, so, so conversations with Wolves, uh, Arsenal and Wolves is separate to the Mendes conversations. So we might not have actually spoken to uh, Wolves yet. We've spoken to Mendes, but 
speaking to wolves might 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 not have happened yet. So that is that is uh, that is an interesting point. Just moving on quickly to uh, some some outgoings. If you guys haven't heard, uh, Pepe is still in talks to going to Nice, and uh, Hector Bellerin could be leaving the club, but. Rumors has it we could actually get a fee for Hector Bellerin. We could actually get some money for Hector Bellerin. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm quite happy to get rid of either one of them um, if we were to be able to get rid of them this window. So I have to, we'll have to wait and see what we can do. But I'm, I'm quite happy to get rid of either one at this point. I'm not too, I'm not too, I'm not too, fam- I'm not too interested in keeping either, either Nicolas Pepe or Hector Bellerin. If Hector Bellerin terminates his contract. The sooner the better, in my opinion. But yeah, don't forget to hit that like button, people, if you haven't already done so. Um, now we're going to move on to the Yuri Tillemans news. Um, here is the Yuri Tillemans news. I seen this news yesterday with uh, with Yuri Tillemans, and I didn't really get a chance to speak on it. I've been quite busy, so let's just let's just let's just look at let's just look at this quickly, and let's just see what we have to say. Yuri Tillemans is 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 staying in Arsenal's transfer list. And is ready to make a second bid next week uh, uh, for the Leicester midfielder. As announced yesterday, Arteta is uh, valid, uh, uh, valid the profile, and next week will be the decision. This is uh, th- the board are also looking at other options in in uh, uh, Tonali and uh, Casado. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't think this is. Is, is, is anything new that we don't know about? Yes, the, this is a very reliable source. Yes, he is telling us that Arsenal are seriously looking at signing um, Tillemans. Yes, he's telling us that we're going to be putting in a second bid. That is huge, huge. That is massive news right there. Massive news. Sorry. That is massive news that we're about to get a second bid. But I don't believe that we are going to get a midfielder and a winger. I think we might get one. I don't believe we'll be able to get both. Being that, yes, the club might be looking at FFP and obviously the Yuri Tillman situation, we've been kind of digging our heels, taking our time with it. Um, Yuri Tillman was was shocking when he came on Saturday and he could be basically, he couldn't even pass the ball. He cost us uh, two goals for Southampton. The, he cost it the second goal Southampton scored. Wow, wow. Chelsea was sold. The last owner made sure it was clear all loans. Cleared all loans. That's why we can spend. Yeah, Chelsea Chelsea have wiggle room. Chelsea can spend. It's not an issue. But they can spend all this money, and they're going to end up with a Bamiyang and an Anthony Gordon. It's pretty funny, if you ask me. Um, let me know quickly. Let me know. Yuri Tillemans, Tenali, Casado, the three players that we're currently we're linked at for the midfield. Do you think we're going to get any of them in before the window closes, guys? Do you think we're going to get a midfielder? Because it does look like we're going to be getting a winger. We're, we're going hard for Pino, and we're really going in for, uh, for Pedro Neto. But do you really believe we can get uh, another midfielder let me know guys in the comment section right now let me know what you guys think do you think we'll be able to get in another midfielder hit that like button also while you guys are here um i'm looking at the chat right now do you believe arsenal can still land a midfielder this window uh people in the chat are saying no uh 30 30 30 31 are saying no 69 percent are saying yes so a large portion of you guys believe we can still land a winger this this window that is that is that is really good news. That is really good news. That is really good news. I, I like that. <coughs> oh man, let's go. Let's go. Um, what are we doing now? Um, helps Pate with Casado. Do you really believe we can get a midfielder, though? Because I am still very skeptical. How many more signings do you believe Arsenal can make this window? What? You think we can make three signings? That is very, very, very optimistic, Kieran. That is very optimistic, my friend. 
that's very optimistic. I think it's going to be very difficult for us to get three signings done um, uh, from now until the end of the window. But you know what? I didn't see us getting Tomiyasu last season. So the club can surprise us sometimes. Definitely. They definitely can surprise us sometimes. And and I would I would be extremely surprised if we were able to land uh land uh, land that deal as we as we can see. Um what else is there? Is there is there anything is there anything massive of news that, that you guys have seen lately that I haven't seen? Let me check. Cause I haven't done a stream in a while, so let me just show you guys. So um the Pedro Neto thing. Let's see. Okay, so here's another th here's another thing quickly for the Pedro Neto thing. Um, Athletic understand that the signing of the uh, wide player is Arsenal's primary focus between uh, between now and the end of the window. But they will only sign the player if uh, he truly improves the first team squad. Rafinha was the first uh, the first uh, target. Uh, Neto is the was the backup. If we can go and get a bid, sixty million plus for Rafinha, there is no reason why we can't go uh, high on Neto. Fingers crossed. What are we saying, people? You got your fingers crossed. Do you believe? Do you believe we could do it? Do you believe it? Can you believe it? Uh, I find it difficult. I find it difficult to believe that we'll be able to get all these deals done. But I still, I still have a lot of hope at the same time. Because if we do get it done. Guys, we're top of the table right now. And if we can get a midfielder in and a winger, who's to say we don't shock people and start uh, and have a uh, and have a little bit of a good run uh, throughout the season? Hey, I'm not saying we're going to win the league, but I'm just saying we could potentially be serious challengers if we if we if we bring in all the key areas. I agree. If Edu is serious to challenge, then he needs a, mid, a top midfielder. I agree. I agree. Uh, we've already seen this already. Arsenal uh, winger priority. Yep, we've already seen that. We've already seen that. So I'm just gonna put that off screen. Um, let's see what else there is. Uh, so yeah, these are the three. These are the three winger. Uh, these are the three midfielders that we that we are looking at. These are the three midfielders that we are looking at. All right. Let me show you guys. So this is uh, Tonali from AC Milan. AC Milan's Tonali is is one of the midfielders we are looking at. We are looking at um, the the quite unproven um, uh, Musa Casado, but he is more of a DM, or, or or he's more of a defensive type midfielder, uh, it, it, where the other two, in Tillemans and Canali, are more box to box. But you know what, Canali can also play as a DM. Also, the only one that can't play as a DM is Tillemans. Tillemans can't play as a DM, in my opinion. He definitely cannot play as a DM. He he's going to have to play either alongside Pate or further ahead of Pate. Um, the other two can play can can help out in that defensive midfield role, but he's more of a. I would say he's more of a, a playmaking, a, a deep line playmaker, and he'd be more of a. He's more of a box to box DM, similar to Alcante, with a smaller build, not not too big, but yeah. Those are the three midfielders Arsenal are heavily looked at and looking at right now. If you had to pick one, ain't no way we're getting Tonali, bro. You know what? Tonali would be extremely ambitious. I, I, I completely get that. He would be an extremely ambitious signing. Um, Musa Casado would probably be quite cheap and affordable, I think around $33 million. But Tillemans is also affordable. But does, I don't know enough about Casado. To say, oh, he is levels above El Neni. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's just younger. Uh, I think El Neni is still quality. I think we get onto El Neni way too much, people. Way too much. Um, I will take Tonali all day. Um, uh, we have Vieira. Arsenal won't buy it. I send him in. Uh, watch and see. You know what? You know ball, bro. You know ball. Because as forward as Xhaka is getting, I could see us playing with Odegaard. Fabio Vieira and Pate. I could see that. I could definitely see that. Like I'm not even gonna lie. I see the vision with uh, uh with Fabio Vieira, and I could see Odegaard and Fabio Vieira and Pate playing together in the same team. You know ball, bro. I get you, because there. But at the same time, we're very skeptical as fans because we want everything, and and at the same time, we know that we we can't get everything that we want. So we're picking and choosing what we really need. So what would you really want? 
that is what I that is what I would say to you. What do you really want? What do you think we could we could actually get? Because the skepticism is coming from somewhere. It's coming from somewhere, right? I heard Hector Bellerin to Barcelona was a thing. Hector Bellerin to Barcelona was a thing. Apparently, that was that was that was interesting. Also, Balogun, quick loan watch, loan watch. Yo, Balogun scored three goals in his opening three games. Absolutely on fire over there in France. Wow. Shout out to Balogun, man. Doing bits over there in France. Yo, France must be easy, man. Because some of these guys over there, they just go over there and they just smash it. Like, Saliba, obviously, he's world-class uh, uh, potential. So he was always going to smash it. Ganduzi went over there. He was one of their best players. Balogun's going over there. He's scoring goals. Nuno Tavares is going over there. He's looking like Roberto Carlos. It's crazy. It's crazy. What the hell are they doing in France? They just develop youngsters, give them all the opportunities, and they get and they bag goals. You 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 could never see Balogun getting loaned out to a Premier League, scoring three goals in three games. That's just not going to happen. They're going to have somebody already in his way, blocking his pathway to get into the team. Let alone do what he did there. Also, yesterday, Joe Willock yesterday, masterclass. Joe Willock masterclass yesterday. Shout out Joe Willock, former academy player, doing his thing. That game, that Newcastle game was amazing. Joe Willock, honestly, he's no Awobi, man. That was a good deal for, for, for Newcastle, and we got ourselves a good deal also. Um, what else we said? Yeah, we're top of the league, people. I know that. Uh, don't get too carried away. Don't get too carried away. The only team in the league with 100% record. Don't get too carried away. Once again, I know. <laughs> I know. Don't get too carried away. <laughs> <coughs> it's not It's not time to get carried away yet. It's not time to get carried away yet. Um, oh, shit. Ramsdale. Ramsdale uh, gave an opening letter to Leno. This is interesting. Look at this. Ramsdale gave an opening letter to Leno where he said, um, this was this was about 20 hours ago. Uh, this was yesterday. To Leno, I wish you nothing but the best happiness and greatness in your new adventure. Thank you for showing me the ropes. I hope you can hold. Uh, I hope I can hold myself as gracefully as you did in the shirt. Shout out to Ramsdale showing some class, giving giving a good little goodbye to his uh, former deputy um, goalkeeper over there at Arsenal in. Leno, right? Now let's just let's just continue to look through what else there is with the Arsenal news. Guys, we have suffered. We have suffered. We have suffered with center backs. We ha- we used to suffer. Thank God for Saliba, Gabriel, Ben White, Tamiyasu, uh friggin' um uh we have Sinchenko, we have Kieran Tierney. I'm not gonna lie, this picture gives me post-dramatic stress. This picture right here gives me post-dramatic stress. Voila. This picture right here gives me post-dramatic stress. Wow. Wow. Honestly. This picture, man. I we have suffered. We have suffered. I'm not gonna lie, we have suffered, and and the worst part about it is, the trauma these guys uh, like Mustafi has put us through, we now we now we now carry with us today. Cause against smaller teams, we we still we still we still uh, friggin' worry. Sometimes you got you gotta just move on. This picture, these guys, man. Yo, this picture, man. PTSD, voila. I can't, I can't believe how much we've upgraded in our defense, in our team overall. Like, it's actually ridiculous if you really think about it. This was, this was just like three years ago. Was this three years ago or was this last, like? Bro, this was two years ago. Mad, right? That's crazy. That's crazy. This picture gives... The, 
honestly, if you're not an Arsenal fan, you don't understand how much po uh, post-traumatic stress this picture gives us. This picture gives us bare stress. Just look at just look at Mustafi uh, at Pablo Mari together. Oh man, it was a headache. It was a headache. Well, it was a headache. Rival fans love this backline. This was their dream backline. This was a rival fan's dream backline. This was rival fans' dream. They would wake up and they and they would love this shit. Yo, busy in the house. Yo, what's good, bro? What's good? Uh, we actually won uh, trophies with these lot. Arteta ha has has that juice. Yo, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, let's just move on. I don't want to give you guys too much stress. <laughs> Sorry, I spent too much time there. Um, Nicholas Pepe, of course, Nicholas Pepe has to go on loan. We already know that he's gonna go. He's gonna go on loan to Rennes most likely. Um, let me just go. Let me just go to the most unreliable source uh, uh, in, in Arsenal news. Uh, they, they always have. They always have some interesting, interesting little tidbits that they throw in there. Now, just like I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. The moment, the moment you go to this unreliable, these these guys, these guys love to talk. You know, you know who I'm about to show you guys. These men, these men, love talking bullshit. They're still chatting about Lucas Paqueta. Nobody's getting Lucas Paqueta at Arsenal. Stop chatting about Lucas Paqueta. It's not happening. It's not happening. Stop chatting about Lucas Paqueta. That's BS. They're talking about Pedro Neto boost, bro. The Pedro Neto boost has already been done. It's been confirmed. David Onstein confirmed it. You're late. They're late to the party. Wallahi. This, that organization, the Sun, they are so behind. They don't know what they're chatting about. It takes them, it takes them freaking uh, so long to update their page. Sometimes it's hilarious. They're, they're trying to say that Lucas Paqueta is believed to be a top priority for Edu and Mikel Arteta. What? What the hell are you chatting about? What the hell are they talking about? Like, what the hell are they talking about? Look at this. What the hell are they talking about? Edu came out and said Lucas Paqueta uh, is a great player, but we're not gonna buy him until we brought we bring in a until we sell some midfielders. So what the hell? Is, what what are they talking about? These guys are so absolute. Oh man, oh man, these guys make me laugh. These guys make me laugh. This makes no sense. Is believed to be a top priority for Edu and Mikel Arteta. Edu, Edu came out on record, on camera, and said he is not a priority. Then, then you have Gunners remain in the hunt for thing, uh, additional midfielders. That is true. I agree with that. Um, this one here, Arsenal have also made uh, been a, had a boost in the pursuit of thing. Uh, yes, but they also say Wolves are willing to reportedly sell the Portuguese player for the right price. This is news from four days ago. Yeah, just goes to show you a bid for Villarreal is expected before the end of the transfer window. Duh, Villarreal are look, uh, Villarreal are willing to sell, but yo, these guys are frauds, man. Frauds, frauds. Don't listen to them. Don't uh, the sun, the sun, the sun tell you so much BS on a regular basis that it's like you can't believe what they say. You just can't believe them. You just can't believe the sun. They they just they just say so much stuff. That they're repeated, they repeat themselves constantly, constantly repeat themselves, constantly stating the same old jargon, the same old news, the same old regurgitated bullshit. And it's just like, yo, fix up, stop chatting shit, and let's just and let's just move on with our lives. Let's just move on with our lives. So yeah, Yuri Tillemans is uh, uh, is left out of uh, Yuri Tillemans. We already know about that. Um, we already know about um, what's going on with. Um, yeah, we've we've been linked to we've been linked to a a, a a guy who has been touted as the next Neymar. Yeah, I don't know I don't know much about this guy. I don't know much about this guy, but I gotta show you I gotta show you guys who this guy is. We've been linked to this guy. He's considered the next Neymar. Who the hell he is? I have no idea who he is. But this is this is the guy we've been linked to. Like who he is? I don't know. He's from Shakhtar Donetsk. Let's let's find out about him. Let's find out about him. So he's a Ukrainian footballer. He's a midfielder. He's 21 years old. Um, Shakhtar Donetsk ace, uh, nicknamed the Neymar after Brentford failed uh, transfer. Arsenal can now pay 20 million for uh, Neymar-like talent. 
<coughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe uh, we are seriously in for this guy. Um, yeah, he's the Ukrainian Neymar, bro. The Ukrainian Neymar, man. Guys, the Ukrainian Neymar. <laughs> Well, I, they, these guys make me laugh. They make me laugh. Where? <laughs> Yo, this is hilarious. We're, Arsenal's linked to the Ukrainian Neymar. What? What? Well, I, this is funny. This is funny. Where did they get? Where did they get these names from? What the hell? <laughs> When when is this gonna stop? When is this gonna stop? When is this gonna stop? Well, hey, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. I can't believe it. Honestly, the Turkish Messi, yo, you're gonna call you're gonna call me the the the, the Somali Thierry Henry soon when I, if I go bald. Um, we asked for the Turkish Messi uh, before Iga. Yeah, you guys remember that? You remember that? The Turkish Messi? Oh man, that was funny. What was what was his name again? Uh what was it? What was the Turkish Messi's name? What was the Turkish Messi's name? Uh the Turkish Messi. He played with Ozil too. That's what made it even funnier. He was playing with Ozil. Well, let's find it. The Turkish Messi. Turkish Messi. Um what? How many Turkish Messies are there? How many Turkish Messies are there? Oh, this is him. Yeah, this is the guy. This is the Turkish Messi we were after. Bro, man 16, you know. Man 16. He's supposed to be highly rated, though. He's supposed to be highly rated. Uh, we hijacked Gakpo uh, off you. What? You hijacked, uh, you hijacked Gakpo? <laughs> We moved past Gakpo a long time ago. The moment we went for Rafinha, we said forget about Gakpo. We, we stopped looking at Gakpo. We completely moved away from Gakpo so long ago that you trying to consider it a hijacking. It's like <laughs> you trying to say you hijacked Gakpo from Arsenal is like saying a thief stole my trash. No, no, no. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's like saying... That's like saying you outbid me on an item that I'm no longer uh, yeah, have in my shopping cart. Well, I stopped the, stop the raid. Quit the random, bro. LOL. You did not hijack shit. <laughs> you thought you hijacked Gakpo. Yo, nobody, nobody even linked Gakpo to Arsenal anymore. All the Gakpo to Arsenal stuff has has been done for a minute we we've we've been we've been after Pedro, we're not after pedro neto bro you you get you have your gakpo you have your gakpo air divisi merchants uh ten hog just ten hog just literally shaves his head and, and looks at air divisi targets 24 7 big up big up big up the manchester united fans though edu wanted him bro edu don't know him bro <laughs> edu don't know edu don't know gakpo bro you think edu knows gakpo you think Edu is out here like, yo, are, we should we should speak to Gakpo. We should speak to Gakpo. Man violated. Mad violation. Nah, nah, nah. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. But yo, I don't know if Edu wanted him or not, but I can tell you for a fact, a lot of these targets that we've been linked to are BS. A lot of them are BS. We've been linked to Harvey Barnes. You think we actually went in for Harvey Barnes? Never. Um, we were linked to um, uh, Musa Diaby. Where did that ha Where did that go? Where did that go? Right? We're linked to freaking Kalam Hudson Odoi. What the hell is that? Kalam Hudson Odoi. Really? You think Chelsea are gonna sell him? Come on, come on. M is in here saying title charge. M. Apparently, with Mikel Arteta, we could never get close to a title, right? Apparently, that's your own words. Am I not wrong? We're linked to Bowen. It was never gonna happen. It was never gonna happen. Why don't you guys go for Bowen instead of spending a hundred million pounds on Anthony? Go for Bowen. Oh, yeah, he doesn't suit your style of player. You guys are spending 100 million euros on a player who's not better than Martinelli. Wallahi. 100 million euros on a player who's not better than Martinelli. Wallahi, that's mad. Never said that. Um, okay, you never said that. Sure. I, I'm just playing around. Imagine, a, yo, just look at it this way. Odegaard, 
Gabriel Jesus, Bakayo Saka, Emil Smith Rowe, and Martinelli. So Martinelli, Gabriel, Odegaard, Emil Smith Rowe, and Bakayo Saka all cost less than Anthony. Wow. Arsenal does some great business, eh? Anyways, I'm just trolling. But yeah. Uh, big up, big up, my guy Mustafa, man. I'm sorry, for, I'm sorry to get onto you this much this morning, but United fans, man, you guys deserve all the smoke because you guys been giving it so much. You finished second, we were in eighth. You're giving it. You guys got Ronaldo, we got we got uh, and Varane and Sancho, we got Ben White and Ramsdale. You guys were giving it to us. You're you're making fun of us last season when we didn't get top four because because we finished in the same European competition as you, and and now. Now, tables have turned. Who's the banter club now? You got Ten Hag, and you're still the banter club because you have terrible defense, terrible midfield, and oh, yeah, I can't wait to see Lissandra Martinez play tonight. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. The memes, I can't wait to see the Lissandra Martinez memes tonight. That's what I'm saying. Forget about forget about uh, Lissandra Martinez uh play tonight i can't wait to see the memes i can't wait to see i can't wait to see the lasandra martinez memes tonight it's gonna be nice it's gonna be nice it's gonna be nice really nice really nice because every time he plays he's gonna absolutely get crucified same way ben white got crucified what goes around comes around Gonna be it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be a good time very very excited very very excited for them ones I, I fully get you uh Iga is, is is already a meme okay okay Adam you're on to me eh? I see you I see you I see you Adam by the way let me just let me just show you some of my Lissandra Martinez some of my best work on the uh some of my Lissandra Martinez work because some of the work that I put in on Lissandra Martinez, woo, he's already finished. He's already finished. Um, okay. So I personally wanted Lissandra Martinez at one point. So the, so I'm not going to lie to you. I did want him at one point. I did want him. But then I wanted him as a left back. What happened was your, your boys told me he was a center back. Your boys got on to me and said to me, yo, Lissandra Martinez is not a center back. So what I said was, uh, keep the same energy, Gary Neville. Keep the same energy. Keep the same energy. I wanted him. Don't get me wrong. I wanted him as a left back. I did a lot of videos on him. But then the question had to come out. Who was better for the opening game? Was it Harry Maguire or was it Lissandro Martinez? The reality was, Lissandro Martinez was not better. There's, there's a lot of... The, but then he messed up his opening game. Rashford had to help him. Rashford had to help him make his apology letter. Yep, Rashford had to help him make his apology letter. It had to happen. It had to happen. Rashford had to help him. And then, then you realize, then you realize that we got Saliba and Gabriel for the same price that they paid for Lissandro Martinez. That's when you're like, yo, that's mad. Yo, we got Saliba and Gabriel, arguably two of the top 10 center backs potentially in the league. For for the same price for the for 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 the for, for Hezbollah in a United shirt. It's mad, right? I Don't get me wrong. I was still, I was still, I still wanted him back in June of 2017, but I wanted him as a left back, right? I, I seen all this stuff and I was like, yo, Sandra Martinez versus, um, Lissandra Martinez was def is definitely going to be a, a guy who we're going to look at and we're going to say to ourselves, he's going to be a walking meme for the next couple of weeks. Next couple of weeks to a year, he's going to be a walking meme. Personally, I think he's going to be a walking meme a lot more than just... Oh, this one too. Don't forget this one. Don't forget this one. Yep. 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 It's a scam. Did you see what I did there? Did you see what I did there? It's a scam. <laughs> well, I'm having, good, I'm having too much fun. I'm having too much fun. I, I'm having way too much fun. Oh, this one was the best. This one was the best. You guys see this one? You guys see this one? Yo, this one was hilarious. Lasandra Martinez versus Brentford. The butcher of Argentina. 
والله that meme killed me it absolutely finished me it absolutely finished me oh my god yo <laughs> yo i seen that i seen that i seen that yo <laughs> I seen that. I don't want to search that because I seen some I seen some next shit next to it too. But yo, Elon Musk jetpack. Yo, that that made me cry. That made me cry. Where is it? Elon Musk Lasandra Martinez jokes. They were they were going in. They were going in with the Elon Musk Lasandra Martinez jokes. Where is the jetpack one? Where is the jetpack? Yo! Yo, yo! Some of these Lissandra Martinez jokes are too funny, man. Where's the jetpack? Where's the jetpack? I can't find it. Let me, let me, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can find the jetpack one. Because if you guys haven't seen it, oh my god, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. Where's the jetpack? Where's the jetpack? Where's the jetpack one? Dolly's here. What the hell is going on? I can't find it. I can't find it. I can't find it. But but guys, that's it for that's it for today. That's it for the today. Keep the same energy for Kunde and and I can't believe Zinchenko is a high uh, height as what? I'm so confused. Uh Puyo is a small center back, same energy. Um you know what the difference the difference my guys the difference my guys puyo might be five nine but if i'm not mistaken your man's shorter than messi bro i'm just i'm just i'm just keeping the same energy uh, as as i said he i wanted him as a left back what he has now become is a meme he has now become a meme he has now become a meme ladies and gentlemen he has now become a meme let me just show you some. Let me just show you some more of these memes. These are these are actually grade A content. United, uh, United when the ball is is whipping in uh, towards the Sandra Martinez for a cross. <laughs> Yo, that is a violation and a half. That is a violation and a half. Yo, that is a violation and a half. Yo, that is a violation and a half. Wallahi. Wallahi, that is the biggest violation. I can't believe it. Okay. We're, I swear to God, we're almost done. I swear to God, we're almost done. But just let me show you guys. Have you guys seen this one? Danny Wobak versus Lissandra Martinez. Oh, my God. Body. What about this one? You guys seen this one? This one, was, this one, this one sent me for a little bit. This one had me crying. This one had me crying. Femi, you got to get timed up, bro. Trying to create a healthy environment where people just laugh and have a good time. Um, then you got um, Ten Hag realizing that Sandra Martinez is not built for the Prem. Sorry, little one. <laughs> Yo, uh, what else is there? Okay, Sandra Martinez and Jules Kunde. Uh, oh, that's funny. Yo, that's funny. What else is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it, uh, Okay. Yeah, nah, definitely. Definitely not the tallest. Yeah, I think I've overdone it with the, with the Sandra Martinez ball uh, stuff. What is this? Manchester United. Uh, Sandra Martinez during Manchester United Medical. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wrap it up. Yeah, that's it. That's enough for today. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully, you guys had a little bit of laugh, enough uh, enough uh, information about Arsenal and everything else, and you guys have yourself a good one. Catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.